Today I'm at Lake Eildon, a beautiful part of the world, allegedly two hour drive from Melbourne. Behind me, the Snobs Creek Fish Hatchery. This is where a lot of inland fishing in Victoria starts. We're gonna go in, check out behind the scenes, then I'm gonna hit the lake and try and catch a few trout. This is gonna be epic. Oh, that is hurtful. Looks like I gotta put this back in the car. This is Steve Vidler, he's the program manager here at Snobs Creek Fish Hatchery. Steve, you've got a pretty cool job, haven't you? Probably close to the best job in the world. Well, well, maybe just behind yours, yeah. Oh, I reckon playing with fish all day is pretty cool. It's pretty so, good. So, what do you actually do here? Well, we breed fish for stocking all of Victorian uh, waterways for recreational fishing. So we do both um, salmonid and, and native fish. So it's a really um, exclusive site that we do the cold water and the warm water fish in the one site. Sensational. It's a pretty active looking place back there. Lots of fish. Let's go and check it out. Will I get to see the whole process today? The whole thing from start to finish and you can actually do a bit of it. Oof! Like the sound of this. And I reckon we're going fishing too. Could the day get any better? This is like a lolly shop, mate. This is it, this is where it all happens. This is a whole year's worth of eggs. So in one of those containers, how many eggs? Between 20 and 30,000, depending on the actual level and the size of the egg. So how long will it take them to actually get to the next stage? It's all temperature dependent, so at the moment it's only about five degrees. If it sits at about eight degrees, about six weeks. Six weeks. Yeah. And then you move them through here? Yes, they hatch. When they start to hatch, they come into these incubation troughs. Yep. These are the ones that have just hatched. It looks like they've still got the egg on them. Yeah, so the orange on the belly there is actually the yolk of the egg. So okay. that transfers in there, see nutrient, that's yep. what they live on. So it's like they've still got the umbilical cord attached. That's it. So they're literally moving along a process here, are they? Yeah, the whole process is a flow through. And yep. each different species is a little bit time different, even within a couple of weeks. And so these guys look like they're actually schooling. Yeah, it's just a natural behaviour that they know as a defence mechanism to hide all together, that safety in numbers thing. And at the end here, is this where you've got sort of the finished product ready to go? So once they start to actively feed and, and, and get stronger, they come into these tanks, they're then transferred out into a slightly bigger tank, then a concrete raceway that you'll see outside, yep. then they're ready for stocking. So and, and at what size would you generally stock a fish? 30 to 60 grams is like a general size, yep. but then there's all different categories. So there's school holiday water, so we stock uh, more public waters in, in the cities and towns with catchable fish for the kids. Um, and there's the ex-brood fish, so there's a whole series of sizes. Isn't that awesome? Now, I believe you're about to let me go outside and see if I can make the magic happen. We'll give you a go and see if you've got the magic touch and you can actually contribute to this stocking. Sensational, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Steve, I feel like I'm about to do a cooking show. What's going on here? Well, you're about to contribute to the stocking of the waters in Victoria of uh, some beautiful rainbow trout. Beautiful. These are our female fish, ready to go. Yep. Neil, the expert here, yep. show you how yeah, to hold show it. Me, yes, show me how one's done. No way. And they're trout eggs. Beautiful trout eggs. And that fish is alive because it doesn't look too healthy to me. So it's slightly anaesthetised, so the fish doesn't make it easier on the boys and easier on the fish. Look after the fish, they'll go into future brood fish for people to catch. And that fish will just swim away? Yeah. That is Simple one of as that. the most epic things I've ever seen. <laughs> so now you can try it. I'll give it a crack. So, I grab said fish with this hand. Like this. That way, yep. Yep. Tilt the fish up, so the head's up. Like that. Up like that. Oh, yep. like that, yep. And just, oh. oh you already started. <laughs> and just, that is, <laughs> that is epic. How many eggs are shooting out of this thing on average? Thousands, a couple of thousand there. How epic this? And these are going to turn a little trout. How many trout do you put into Victorian streams, lakes, etc., throughout the year? This year we've just done about 800,000. 800,000 trout, and this is where it all starts. Oh, I've done a lot of things, never done this. That's very cool, right? Okay, That'll so she goes right. back. Put her back in there before she wakes up. Look at that. Excellent. And underneath the size trout, that is gold. Good work. So the girls have done their bit, all the contribution there. So now we've hit the males. The males squeeze the sperm into there. Yep. And then still not active until we actually. Um, Add water and that activate it. So this is a male because you've got a, a hook male, jaw. Beautiful hooky little jaw. Yep. So wipe the water off. So, so they're not activated too early. Yep. All and in the same position. Just give it a squeeze before it goes to the bucket. Okay, just a little squeeze. squeeze. Oh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I moved the bucket. Okay. <laughs> so now I've got the good stuff. Okay, when it's all white and milky, keep going. Look at that. No way. Looks like strawberries and cream down there. <laughs> I want to go to the milk bar. That is and it's he's done. Oh That's no, it. still. So as once the water's in there, that's oh. activated and they're alive. So they're alive, ready to go? Not quite yet. As soon as the water hits it, bang, yep, they bang. go. 30 seconds finished. That is amazing. Now I've got a fish here. 
Steve, but I'm a bit scared because you're holding a spoon. Well, this is part of the initiation because it's the first time you've actually stripped the fish, so you actually get to have a little taste of fresh caviar. Oops, I got the wrong side of the fish. <laughs> Here we go. Can't get any fresher than that. Okay. I'll look after the, you put the fish back. I'll here. put the you fish have back. have a little taste there. Now, I'm a little bit scared, but look how good that looks. Eel and breakfast. Eel and brekkie. Now, the big question, do I just swallow or chew? It's completely up to you. Here goes. Mm. That fish has been eating a lot of yabbies <laughs> and was born on the sunny side of the hill. That is amazing. Can't get fresher than that. I'm sorry to all the kids who go fishing and don't catch a trout this year, because I just ate them. But there's plenty <laughs> there for everyone else to share. Uh, let's go and have a look at that lake. What do you say we go and smash a few fish? Yeah, catch one. Sold. Such a beautiful place. I mean, look at this, Lake Eildon, over 550 kilometres of shoreline. At the moment, it's around 65% of water capacity. At 90%, my goodness me, there's so much water, even 65 is still so full. And the fish, rainbow trout, brown trout, and of course, Murray cod. In fact, fisheries have caught over 1 million Murray cod in this lake since 2011. Some of them are over a metre long, but today, it's the brown trout we're chasing. Even though this is a freshwater lake, you can see I'm wearing a life jacket because that is the law with a boat this size. And we also have a Victorian recreational fishing licence. The reason for that, the funding goes to helping make more of those trout. Let's go, Steve-O. Just before I got on the boat, I remember saying, oh, it's actually quite warm today. I'm now regretting that statement. It is very, very brisk out here on the lake. I think that's the reason it's such a good trout fishery because trout just thrive in this cold water and that's why they get so big and fat. So Steve, one of the things I used to think with freshwater fishing is that the motor would actually scare the fish. Now, that yam is very quiet. Is there any fear it could scare the trout? Oh, it'd be absolutely minimal. I don't know. What... Oh, that's a nice fish. Woohoo! Got him? That didn't take long at all. <laughs> How dare this fish interrupt our lovely little <laughs> chat? Now, I was just saying, do you think the Yamaha scares the fish? I think the answer is definitely no. Maybe eh? it attracts the fish. Maybe it does. I think, I think it does. Now, you're just kicking it in and out of gear, yeah, are you? Just to keep the other lures on the move. Yep. Otherwise, it will sink to the bottom and we have lots of trouble. How big is it? Um, it's a bit of weight. There's definitely some weight there. I haven't felt a lot yet except for a lot of weights. Ooh, 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 well, maybe. ooh. <laughs> maybe. Maybe it's a bit more weight. Woohoo! Go, you good thing. Oh, oh I wonder if... Oh, yeah, there's a fish on. There you go, mate. That's yours. I wonder if this one's got me on the timber, eh? We might have to wind these in. How crazy. That's a nice fish, is it? It's only a little one. Oh, a little tough. I think mine's a bit bigger. I've got an LB tangle here. Um, <laughs> Got a bit on. We got a bit on. Just a little bit happening. This is a good fish. This is past me that net just in case. Yeah, mate. This is what happens when you troll with 58 lines and look like an octopus. <laughs> I'm just going to leave this until you can give me a hand, mate. Nice. Well done, mate. Nice little brownie. Beautiful. That's a very silver brown trout, isn't it? Yeah, good fish. How silver is it? Beautiful silver fish for eel. And that's the benefit of running that single look on the Tassie Devil. They it? don't throw the hook. They yep. stay in. Yeah. Yep. Well, well done, mate. We'll uh, get that fish back in the one. water. I reckon we just hang that over the side for a sec. Literally put it back in the water, put that in the rod holder, because I've got a tangled mess, but I think <laughs> I've got a very nice trout on. I reckon this fish is snagged to say. We might have to go over it. Got it. Uh, might be a decent fish. I think it might be. You get this on the big jobs. Mine went off, trying to get it in. <laughs> Second one went off. Must be a serious fish if we got me in the timber, eh? Yeah, good fish. Looks, it's a good bend. I did give him a lot of time to play with it, so this could be anywhere. Oh, there's my lure. Oh, there's, there's a fish! fish. <laughs> <laughs> How good's that? Look at the size of this thing. I'm going to just go very carefully. Oh, well done. oh yes! <laughs> How good! That's a beautiful fish, mate. Well done. Look at that. A bit bigger than the other one. <laughs> oh, double hookup on brown trout. It has work. the colours on it, mate. Yeah, obviously that's a male. Big stud male. He's on the way to breed. Look at that. He's actually on the go. He's oh, look at that. Form. He's actually doing that business that we were doing <laughs> earlier. Must just be the way I hold him, mate. Great fish. 
That is just unbelievable. How's that? Double hit. We've literally gone about 500 metres from the boat ramp. Lake Eildon, this is what happens when you spend money on fishing licences and fisheries do wonderful things. Competition's on now. We're going to get a bigger one. Yeah, baby. On. That is gold. Oh, yeah, you're on, you're on. That was a good hit, too. Beautiful hit. Well, that's a solid fish. Kicking a bit, too. Well done, mate. Can you just steer the boat? Yep, you're happy to leave the other lines in? Yeah. Just keep sneaking along. Might be a bit better than what I first thought. I reckon it might be. The way it hit, the rod just absolutely buckled. Line started to come off. I'm going to get the net ready. You're really having a kick, too, so it's good. It's giving you a good run for you, mate. mate. It is. It really is. This is so good. Beautiful winter warmth. Trout going off. I just love this place. It might be a real serious fish. It's really having a kick every time I give it any. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a See? beautiful, beautiful oh. fish, mate. Swing it over. That is an absolute stonker. And yeah, In the baby. Net. Yes. <laughs> well Good done. Work. Just open your bail. Oh, thank you. Well done. That is an epic eel and trout. Mate, grab that net. I'm just going to go up and show everyone this awesome fish. How good is that? Look at the golden light of the yield afternoon. Steve, I'm loving your work. Absolute gold. This is too good. The great thing about this trout trolling, you don't need to spend a million bucks to get some really good gear. So I'm using a Katana Estuary 6'6", six six, two-piece spin. It's rated three to five kilo, nice light tips. You can see the lure working. Two-piece, absolute bonus too if you'd like to travel. The real Shimano Sienna 2500 FE, Awesome reel. I paid about 50 bucks for this thing. Just sensational. And Maxima six pound chameleon. I like chameleon because it's dark, it hides in the water, and I love fishing mono when I'm trolling for trout. I've just got another rod and I'm actually casting forward of the boat towards the structure. But while I'm doing that, I'm watching my rod tips and you'll see they're bouncing up and down quite rhythmically. If that rhythm stops and it does anything different, you need to wind and check your lure. It's probably got a bit of weed on it. You just want that dump, 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 dump nice and constant. As soon as it's not constant, one or two things. It could actually be a fish on it getting dragged along. As I said, secondly, it could have a bit of debris. And if you're trolling along with debris, you ain't going to catch any fish. Oh, yep, yeah. fish. Oh, that's, that's a nice fish, mate. Yep. Hold well on. That is literally just chucking towards the timber. On the plastic. On the plucky. So you just, just keep going forward. Yep, you just got to try everything, don't you? Oh, how's the weight? Oh, mate, maybe just back it off for a sec. Just it's, another just, big one. it's a big fish. Spawns. This is epic. How is the bend in that rod? Oh, oh that's a big fish. Look at the oh, size oh, of look that. Your mouth open. Mate, that is a big fish you're going to put under here. You're right, you're right. Yep, how's the size of the gob? Oh, oh when you're ready, when you're ready. Yes! yes. Oh, look at that! It's bigger than the last one! Mate! That is oh. awesome, mate. We still got lines out. I'll go back in the gear. Oh. That is unbelievable. Swing it over. Oh. What a fish. What an epic fish. Look, he swallowed that lure. Oh, how's that for a brown? <laughs> mate, he swallowed that placky. Good stuff. That is just amazing. An afternoon bite that I haven't seen for a long time. Mate, uh, we're going to hit a tray. At the moment, <laughs> I don't care. This fishing is just out of control. Like Eildon, I suggest you come and see what it's all about. Yeah, baby! Just given this big fish, assume it's a male, it's about to go up and do its spawning thing, so I want to get in quickly. This is not the sort of fish you eat. Look at the colour of it. This is the sort of fish that must go back. Look at that for a fish. Big hook jaw. See a dude. He's going to go back and do his thing. When you come to Eildon, there's going to be a lot more fish here. How good was that? Yep, oh, on there now. Good yep. work, good work, mate. Good yep. one? Yep. Just oh, that. Not as big as that last one. It's a fish. Happy days. Well, as you can see, a few shadows in the water now. We've oh. literally... Going all right? Oh, it is. <laughs> nice. Well done, mate. We've literally only been fishing for about four or five hours because we had that awesome morning at Snobs Creek. And it's been such a cool day. Mate, the fish have just been coming like every 20 minutes. Not bad, is it? Thing. Pretty good, yeah. It's not the perfect day. It is a bit bright, but you never know, is it? Oh, I reckon it's a perfect day. <laughs> it's going to get very, very cold and that big ball of fire drops behind those hills. And um, oh, pretty cool. Oh, here it comes. Oh. Here it comes. Yep, yep. Oh, nice fish, mate. Now, that's what you'd probably call a typical... That's it, yeah. Do you need the net? Or you want to swing Might it? as well. Yeah, better just in case. Just eh? in case we drop it. Just in case. And thank Sorry. you very much. Just open your bail off. 
Now, you'd say that is what you call a typical trout for Yildon? Yeah, that's a good eating fish. I mean, if you're going to keep a fish for a feed, that's a good fish to keep. Plenty of them around. Beautiful. And do people often get these confused with Chinook salmon because they're so... Quiet? They do. They're really silvery in here until they mature. And then when they go out in that spawn around, they get that real dark that spot in the hooky jaw, like the bigger ones. Yeah, yeah the difference has been amazing. So you're putting these little fish and those fish that are going up the spawn, the colour's just amazing. We better get our lines in because they're all going to sink to the bottom. Yeah. Mate, thanks for a fantastic day. Excellent. And thank you for taking me to Snobs Creek. Today, I actually milked a fish and I stripped one as well. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> This is what happens from it. This is what you get from it. Excellent. Absolutely. Fishy Victoria, I've got to say, I'm loving your work.